Welcome back to UPW, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some women's division action to start off our night. Got uh, Victoria James on her way to the ring first. For those of you who haven't seen it yet, we do have a second Patreon special up on our Patreon account. I think it'll be in the description down below. We had a tournament to, to determine the first ever Patreon women's champion. It's just three dollars a month, uh, roughly about ten cents a day. Her opponent tonight's one of the newer members of the roster, Elizabeth Wooding. But these ladies have a lot of similarities to each other. They rely on their power, their strength. They both have some submission skills. Woody likes to use a modified uh, fig uh, Texas Cloverleaf called the uh, Prism Lock. Whereas uh, Victoria James likes to use a an elevated camel clutch. They also like to utilize a uh, ripcord lariat for Elizabeth Wooding and Victoria James utilizing her vertebraker. So both these ladies will be looking to overpower each other. We'll see who comes out on top. There's the opening bell, and right off the bat, Victoria James whips Elizabeth into the corner. As we're upside down, oh, they just start kicking at the midsection. Now choking her with her boot. Well, even now with a nice single leg takedown. Like modified spear. Oh, and a just launch her up into the air. Nice diving splash showing her agility and ability to fly. Now goes to the cover. One, two, ooh, two and a half. Almost putting this way early. A modified version of her own camouflage. But the strength on display there by Victoria as she. She knows very well how to counter and escape a hold like that one. Ooh, big running lariat there. Just stomping away. So far, Elizabeth has been in control of this matchup. A nice sweep there to counter her out. Oh, and there's a big super kick by Victoria. Into the cover. One, two, kick out two by Elizabeth. A nice scoop slam into the to the uh, Samoan drop. Now going for her own camel clutch, the elevated camel clutch. There you see Elizabeth escaping. Counter strike there. Elizabeth fighting her way back into the match here. Kind of wringing her arm over the top rope. Oof, big rain boot by Elizabeth. hard into the corner there. Now choking her with her boot. Oh, just a modified slingshot almost. Nice counter there by Victoria as she's able to get the dragon screw. Oh, kick right to the face. Big diving elbow by Victoria James. Into the cover. One. Two, oof, another near fall for Victoria James. 
Oh, just ramming the back of his head against the canvas. Oh, nice counter punch there. Ooh, Falcon Arrow. Cover. One, two, ooh, two and a half. Elizabeth going up top. Big diving splash. Victoria gets back up and gets nailed with a drop kick. And a leg drop from Elizabeth. Victoria slow to get to her feet. Into the ripcord lariat. Into the cover. One, two, oh, another near fall as Victoria kicks out. And there's Samoan drop there by Victoria. Oof, on to more of a not quite chin lock here. Not quite the same as the camel clutch, but similar to it. Ooh, big nick breaker. Cover. One. Quick kick out there by Elizabeth. Oh, knees to the chest midsection there. A series of hard strikes, but the Troy counters are into the corner. Elizabeth getting her up. Just a double hand of toss. Elizabeth going after the knees. Uh oh, going for that elevated camel clutch again. As we're right in the middle of the ring. Oh, but let's her go. I'm going for a pin. One, two, oh, two and a half. Elizabeth barely kicks out. Nice evasion there. And for that choke toss again. Gets her up onto her shoulders. Big slam there. I'm going for the prism lock. And Victoria has to tap out. Your winner is Elizabeth Wooding. Hey guys, Camp Clips here. Uh, I want to tell you all about the new and improved Patreon that I've got going on here. Uh, it's at patreon.com slash kingofclubsyt. Uh, we've got a well, single tier this time, uh, $3 a month, uh, about 10 cents a day for all you math geniuses out there. Uh, your perks that you're going to be getting with this tier is you get uh, credit at the in future videos. Uh, it could be at the early parts of the video, it could be in the latter parts of the video, it could even be right in the middle, so you just have to watch the video and find out where that goes. Um, you all get bonus content that's only going to be on Patreon. Uh, minimum of at least one extra video a month, possibly more in the future depending on about timing and whatnot. And then uh, you also get priority if I do Q&As or comment, uh, comment type videos where I'm reading, reacting to comments and questions. Uh, you get priority if you're on Patreon because I'll go there first before I go to the YouTube comments section. Uh, more perks to come in the future. I'm hoping to work on getting a Discord server set up and uh, adding that to the perks as well. Um, but yeah, if 
you want to support the channel directly, that's the best way to do so. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time for men's of in action here. We've got River Monster on his way to the ring. Representing the UWA affiliation. Going to get on track here. Hasn't had the most successful start to his season. Now he's going to be taking on one of our Firefly Wrestling transfers. Strongheart himself, Kiichiro Asakawa. Well, the interesting uh, clash of styles you've got River Monster, who's going to be more primal, like a brawler in a sense. You've got Asakawa who can mix power with striking and some submission skills as well. Alright, there's the opening bell. Immediately, River Monster goes from modified backbreaker. Big Explorer Suplex. Oh, into a cover. Nice one. They got one, but a very unique pain predicament there. Oh, nice counter. Forearm strikes. Oh, nice. quick kick to the spine. Nice moonsault there by Asakawa. Going up top yet again. Thinking twice about going to the air a second time. Now you see some of the brawling aspects there, just striking. Not twisting on the head and neck area. Lesakoa tries to fight back to his feet. Oh, big standing lariat, my goodness. Uh, there's some striking on display by Asakawa. Oh, blocks the middle rope attack. The monster throws Asakawa to the apron. Uh, looking for a belly to back suplex. Oh, dropping him spine first on the apron. Oh, just cross face punches to him on the floor. Remember, those aren't mats out there, those, those are slabs of concrete that we have underneath our ring. It's really not a safe place to be, it's outside. Oh, nice reverse DT to Asakawa. Oh, throwing River Monster into the steps. Now going into the ring and then back out to break the count. Oh, series of strikes there. Oh. Lost the just working over River Monster. Breaks in the count yet again. 
Little must have tried to catch him, gets elbowed in the face for his troubles. Oh, just throwing him down towards the corner there. And both went back inside the ring. There's that explorer suplex to sound the release. Rear monster positioning back towards the center of the ring. A oh, nice roll up here. On quick kick out there by River Monster. Nice escape by Sakawa. Oh, there's a satanic Larry yet again. Oh, went for a springboard forearm, but missed. Oh, there's a shoreham clothesline of his own. As you see, River Monster starting to work on the joints, just stomping on each part of the body. Now just rain down heavy punches. Nice trip up there. Kind of walking him towards the ropes, but the monster elbows his way out. Scooping him up onto his shoulders, he gets countered. Again, finding his way free. Breaking down to a big brawl at this point. Oh, nice big spin out slam. Trying to recover here. Referee calls for a rope break though. Seeing the rope, seeing the hand under the ropes. Oh, nice counter punch there. Vice versa. Also, Kyle could be looking for the jackhammer here. Has him up. Powers him down. Cover. One. Two. Oh, two and a half. Behind going for a dragon suplex. I could be looking for another jackhammer here. Big slam. One, two, three. Nasukawa is your winner. This is a rough and brutal back and forth matchup here tonight. Stomach unhappy. <laughs> Try actin puts a smile in your tummy. Stomach unhappy. <laughs> Try actin puts a smile in your tummy. Try actin is a super strength antacid. It not only neutralizes, Try actin relieves the major discomforts of indigestion in a way no simple antacid can. Heartburn, overstuffed feeling, jittery stomach. Put a smile in your tummy. <laughs> Take Try actin. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some tag team division action for you up next. On the way to the ring right now is Neon City, Chet Wild, and Jesse Sky. Team that's looking to certainly move up in the ranks of the tag division. And the same could also be said for their opponents tonight.
You got the Mayberry family, Cletus and Zeke Mayberry. This time coming out on their own, not being followed by Uncle Lester this time around. <clears throat> With or without Uncle Lester, these are a couple of very capable guys. Both these teams are from our UWA affiliation. Know each other fairly well, I would say. So I guess it's going to be Jesse Sky and Cletus starting up for their respective teams. Well sounds. Cletus with a nice modified hip toss there. Could go behind. Up onto his shoulder with a electric chair drop. Now a quick tag to Zeke. Zeke obviously brings the power to this uh, to this matchup. Size and strength on his side. Big scoop slam there. They just are stomping away on Jesse. Now if I camel clutch there. If he was originally out of position, but now he finally turns attention to to check. Look at the strength on display here by Jesse Sky. Nice ability back suplex. Quick tag to Chet Wild. Nice spin kick there by Wild, creating some space for himself, but immediately starts going after the big man while he's down. Oh, misses the basement drop kick. Oh, big punch to the midsection. Nice snap suplex there. Mob just rain down punches now. up. And Zeke fighting his way back in. Picks him up. A big body slam. Tag made to Cletus. He is much more agile of the two, but equally as dangerous. Nice thing like takedown. Trying to keep Chet from making the tag to Jesse. That's Chet. Ooh. Hits him with a big discus forearm, dropping him. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Kick out two. By Cletus. Oh, nice deadlift into a released German suplex, just throwing him. Now tag made to Jesse Sky. Big counter there into a headlock, now into a modified airplane spin. Oh, big running double axe now into a cover. One, two, oh, two two and a half. Zeke not showing any urgency there. Might be a mistake that it could cost him. Oh, twisting the arms and then snapping the fingers. Oh, looks like going for a suplex there, but Cletus counters. And again, giving him a ride with that Spinning headlock. Going into that modified camel clutch there. Big starting to come in. He just makes the tag. Right as Sky gets to the top turnbuckle. Oh, big crossbody taking down the big man. 
Oh, beautiful Enzigiri. And Sky tags in wild. Shit, wow. Big strikes to the to the back. Now going for recover. One. No, not even a two count. Zeke way too powerful. Go up top. Frog splash lands into the cover. One. Two. He got two by Zeke. Nice corner explorer there. Zeke trying to get to his corner makes the tag to Cletus. Nice counter and big spiking DET there by Cletus. And in for that final flush again. He's really close to the rope though. I don't know if he's going to be able to get him. Here, as his wild escapes. Up on the shoulders. And dropped over the top rope. Oh, look at this dead lips. Do like a modified power bomb. Tag made, in comes Jesse Sky. Oh, runs right into the flatliner though. One, and a break up there by Chet Wild. They're going after the arm. Big Zeke throwing Wild out. He follows after him. Counter for counter. This guy getting the better of the exchange thus far. Snap of the fingers again. Oh, miss with the insecurity though. Still not connecting with it. Oh, nice front cartwheel kick. Sky repositioning Cletus. Just kicking him away though. Cletus now knocking Sky down. Oh, went for a big dive. Didn't quite didn't quite connect with it. Going over, going for cover anyway. One, I kick out one. Zeke gets tagged in now. This guy's getting back up to his feet. Oh! Just kick right in the mush. I'm going for cover. One, two, she got two and a half. This gets in the ring, but he needs to be careful. Realize the exiting. Nice counter there. Oh, there's that cartwheel kick again. But almost immediately, Zeke's pulling himself back up. Not able to keep the big man down as well as tagged in. Oh, this gets forearm right to the face. Cover. One. Immediately broken up by Cletus. Kick to the midsection there. As Cletus gets dropped with an exploder, Sky not really doing his partner any favors there, he's just kind of staying around. Big clubbing blow to the back. Now Wild going up top. Frog splash, oh no! Needs to the midsection. Oh, and a big splash by Zeke. Zeke, who doesn't have his partner to tag in, goes up top himself. Oh my goodness. 
What a giant diving splash. Cover. One. And easily broken up by Jesse Sky. You can see some blood on the face of Zeke. Not that it seems to phase him any. Big power bomb it looks like here. I don't know, just dumping Sky out onto the concrete floor. Now throwing Wild over onto the apron. Big clubbing blow there. Oh, forearm strike. Wild Wild fighting his way back in. Immediately knocked it back into the ropes. Oh. Just pinballing him back and forth with some body shots there. Wild getting back up slowly. Keep going for that reverse choke slam. Oh, just plants him. Sky on the outside. Two makes the save. Now thrown out onto the apron. Nope, out to the floor. Print as he goes for looks like a belly to back suplex. Oh, spine first goes Chet Wild. Oh, now a hip toss takedown. Or excuse me, hip lock takedown. Oh, slapping in the back of the head. Standing moonsault there, nicely done on the concrete floor, no less. Count to three as both men get back into the ring. Nice belly to back suplexes. Tag made. In comes Jesse Sky. Zeke crawling over makes the tag to Cletus. Oh, there's that front cartwheel kick though. Immediately putting his down. Oh, fake out punch. There's the Insigiri. Sky going up top. Oh, moonsault across the back. Don't know if he quite got all of it, but he may have gotten enough. Goes for the cover. Zeke nowhere in sight. One, two. No, oh, two and a half as Cletus kicks out. That may have been their best shot. This guy going back up again. Get rid of Moonsault. This time lands all of it. Zeke just now getting up. One, two, three. Neon City barely gets the win. So a hard back and forth tag match up here. Neon City pulling out the victory. There are lemons and there are limes, but there's no such thing as a lemon lime. Look at this can. Gillette foamy me with lemon lime. I don't care what it says, there's no such thing. Look, see, a lemon lime. Yeah. It's just a picture, there's no such thing. All right, yeah. smell it. Gillette foamy with lemon lime isn't sweet like plain lime. The lemon keeps it tangy. For the last time, there is no such thing as a lemon lime. Aha! Huh? Huh? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time for some more singles action here in our men's division. But first, we've got David Houston. One of the transfers from our Fire Pro Wrestling Association. The anti-gravity kid, as he's known in some circles. There's a flair for high flying, as the name suggests. He's had a pretty good run so far, looking to improve upon that going forward.
Now he's going to have quite the task ahead of him. His opponent being one of ours transfers from the UWA affiliation. He's a man who is well versed in a mixture of technical wrestling, can do some mission holes, can do strikes, and can also fly himself. Time shifter Kotaro on his way to the ring. It'll be interesting to see how these two clash. Even though they can go to the air, you gotta think that Qatar's gonna be looking to ground David Houston and go for submission holds. Immediately he's going after the arm, which sets up that double wrist lock. And a strike there. Houston already flying the springboard Hurricane Rana. Get on top again. Locked on target. And not top rope Hurricane Rana that time. Nice. Counter there, just throwing him out to the floor. Tar will be safe to stay inside the ring, but we'll see how long that lasts. Well, nice modified neckbreaker there on the concrete. Taking him away. Oh, thrown to the side of the announce table. Oh, and dropped down with the DT. Just a straight kick to the spine. He's showing sure he's not afraid to throw strikes. Oh, Falcon Arrow on the floor. Oh, miss with a kick. Just counter strike there. Guitar throwing him back into the ring. Or rolling back in himself. I'm not going after the arm, the shoulder. Oh, I'm just twisting it. Nice really spell the back suplex. Almost like a Saido suplex. I just rained on punches. I'm technical about that, just pummeling your opponent. Big leg trip there by Houston. Screenboard mood salt like a lion salt there. Nice handspring into a head scissors. Nice takedown into the pin. One, two, kick out two by Kotaro. Oh, he just kicks to the face. Oh, looks like he may have busted him open near the temple there. Oh, for a diving elbow. Didn't connect though. Kotaro. Nice hammer lock. Ooh, interesting suplex there. Oof. Slamming down and standing moonsault there. Let's kick to the midsection. Throwing him onto the apron now. And a kind of stun gun there hanging up on the top rope. Sort of throwing him back into the ring though. Trying to avoid any countouts here. Again, going down to the arm, to the shoulder. Oh, just 
twisting on it there. Cover. Oh, kick out even before one. Looks like he's going for a fisherman suplex. Got countered into a Northern Light suplex. He's changing his mind there on tactics. This neckbreaker though. Just rain down punches on him. Goes for the cover here. One. Barely a one count. Another neckbreaker. The head and neck's been the target as of late for David Houston. Not utilizing as much of the aerial offense as we would expect. Got countered there. You see the midsection off that staying shooting star press. We're going for the double wrist lock. No, countered. Back elbow there. A front drop kick. Oh, I went for that springboard. Got nothing but canvas way off the mark. Oh, nice sunset flip bomb. Fighting them off again. Another head scissors. Another cover here. One, two, no, two and a half. Fairman carry take over there to counter. Oh, kick to the chest. And a neck breaker there for his trouble. That's nice guitar going up top. He's looking, measuring perhaps. Oh! Interesting double moonsault to a standing David Houston. One, two, kick out two. Uh oh. A bit of punt kicking out the elbow. That's almost the immediate setup to a double wrist lock, but. Counters it into a backstabber. Nicely done. Kataro is pretty straightforward. When he starts working the arm, you know he's going to be looking for that modified Kimura. One, two. Nice kick out there by Kataro. Find the shoulders now. Hanging him up on the top rope. Ooh. Counter kick to the side of the head. Oh. Code red, nicely done. Oh, blocks the. Looks like he's going for an or maybe a drop kick, but it countered. Kick to the arm, and now it seems like takedown. Oh, and another kick to the elbow. Oh, it has him. Roll over. And he has him in the lock, but it's right there in the ropes. for has to immediately call for the break. That goes for a cover off of it. One, two. Kick out two and a half. Tar's game plan has largely been wearing down his opponent. Just trip up there. Oh, spiking with the DT. Oh, and a kick to the midsection. A nice code breaker there. Try 
crap takedown. I'm going to be looking at a single leg crab. Getting also immediately in the ropes. The referee calls for a break. Just for a pin attempt. One, two, three. And Houston gets it off the pinfall. And he had to put in the work for that one. Katara was bringing the fight tonight. It just fell a little bit short. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our main event of the evening. We've got another women's division match for you all here. We see Tara making her way to the ring. Transfer from UWA. Powerhouse in her own respect. The Glamrock goddess. Known for using her Glamrock slam. But also can get done in the ring with some submissions as well. Nonetheless, very strong, very powerful. Definitely a force to be reckoned with here. Her opponent tonight, one of our UPW originals, another powerhouse, Natalia. Well, he's no stranger to each other. We met during the tournament, but tonight's a new night. Definitely see how this one shakes out. Natalia. Very strong in her own respects. Love using powerful moves such as her Smo and Spike. There's the bell and immediately Starfa strikes as Talia. Showing her strength there with the deadlift military press. Just marching around the ring with, with Tara. Nicely done. After the knee. Going for almost looks like she was going for her own version of the Lamb Rock Slam, but got countered. Immediately into the corner. Tara scoops her up and gets her up on his shoulders. Oh, a headbutt to the midsection and a kick to the back. I've heard said before that if you're going to use someone's move against them, you better believe that they're going to know the best way to counter it. Up onto the shoulders again. Another headbutt, the boot into the spine. That's nice whipping into the corner there by Talia. Comes the shores yet again. Oh, dropped face first across the turnbuckle there. Could be looking for a bonsai drop, perhaps. Oh, right onto the chest. Going for cover. 
One. No, uh, just a one count there before Terra kicks out. And look for shoulder bomb, perhaps. No, just the uh, K and backbreaker. Trying to squeeze a submission out of her. Terra too strong, the abdomen too strong to break down that easily. Nice Russian leg sweep there, though, by Terra. Nice leg lock there. Talia has to be careful not to start, not to throw her shoulders down. She could be counted into, could start counting it for a pinfall. Talia, so she's going for the spike there. Nice counter there by, by Terra. Goes for a Lamrock Slam. Lands it. Cover. If he calls for a rope break though. Maybe been the only thing to save Talia there. Or easily could have ended for either of them. And up again. Into the shoulders. That backbreaker hold. Talia having to fight free, or Terra, excuse me, fighting free from Talia. Let's twist of the arm. Oh, look at the strength on display here. Just walking her around with it. And possibly for another glam rock slam, but that's countered. Oh! Started for a belly back suplex and then just went to a front face slam. There's the spike. Samoa spiked right to the throat. One, two, three, and Talia is victorious tonight.